be my first year of Thanksgiving making collard greens. I was thinking like, you know, yo, Claire's didn't like my greens. So as a woman, yeah. What's up, gang? I am back with another video. We are back with another video on the Queen and Clarence channel, duh. So I'm starting out my day at the grocery store because literally we are three days away from Thanksgiving. Giving y'all know every year I have to cook now because I'm a mom and I am a a girlfriend. We are doing the usual every year for Thanksgiving: yams, dressing, mac and cheese for sure. I don't do turkey. I don't know about y'all. I don't do turkey because turkey is dry to me. Maybe I haven't had the right turkey yet, but like I said, I like ham, and that's probably the only time of the year I really indulge in pork. Okay, wait, I'm lying. Maybe some bacon on a burger, but I rarely eat that. I'm my ham from honey baked ham i'm not gonna sit up there and try to make no ham i'm sorry y'all i'm not doing it i'm just keep it 100 real now i might do something else this year i might make some salmon on the side or maybe some fried chicken whatever real unhealthy you know real southern so yeah y'all i'm about to get ready and go into the store and i got my little gucci glasses i bought while i was on tour this is my first time wearing these tell me do y'all think they're too big for my face like let me know all right, y'all, I'm about to get in the store and go shopping. Let's go. Right now, I'm having a tough time finding a few items. Maybe because I'm being too bougie with Publix. Maybe I need to go to Kroger or Walmart. Probably do have more. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I went to Walmart recently. They did have more of a selection. So maybe I need to humble myself <laughs> when it comes to the stores. False alarm, y'all, we didn't have to go to Kroger. Thank God, I found everything I needed. I'm even adding on chicken wings this year. Y'all know I gotta make my sweet potato pie. I got the pans ready to go. So we should be good. I didn't wanna show you guys the shopping part because I feel like that's overrated and like, who wants to see me grab things off the shelf? My basket is full. I'm about to load up. Oop, forgot to unlock my door. All right, y'all, so it is, um, oh wait, yesterday I got groceries. Oh. It's the next morning and you know I'm in the house with no children today. Thank the Lord. I am prepping and I cut up my collard greens. Y'all, this will be my first year of Thanksgiving making collard greens. Cut up my yams. I'm gonna do them the same as I do every year. I grated my cheese, guys. Now I'm about to cut up my celery and onions for the dressing, but I just have one question. Why are there leaves on celery? Is this something I can eat? Can I eat the leaves? I'm not gonna show y'all too much of me cutting things because I feel like that's overrated and boring. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my process of um, doing things. As I'm cutting up this onion, right? First of all, it was already a red flag because there's a little brown piece right there. I was like, okay, boom, I just cut it off. And my thing is this, okay, I kept the hairy part on, but usually even when I still do that, I cry just a little bit. Y'all, there are no tears. There's no tears. Does that mean this is a bad onion? Currently, I am getting prepared for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and as you guys can see, I am making my sweet potato pie ahead of time, y'all, because I like my sweet potato pie cold. I already have everything prepped as far as to cook tomorrow. Tomorrow I have to make my mac and cheese, which that won't take super long because all my cheeses are grated and I just gotta really boil the noodles and bake it. My dressing, I'm just make the stock, make the cornbread and then mix it all up and bake that. The greens, I'm scared of y'all. Like I said, this will be my first time doing collard greens. So hopefully they turn out well. I think they will because I have a good sense of flavor. Um, I'm gonna make sure I wait to put the salt in because Man, I done tried some greens, y'all, that was just super salty and felt like I was about to have swollen ankle in 0.5 seconds. Also, I added some new little things to our little chill room right here. This is where the Christmas tree is gonna go this year. Right there, that's where the tree is gonna go, but we haven't brought it up yet. We're gonna do black and white like ornaments and stuff like that. I might have to add some stuff to it, but I think it's gonna look very nice. And we just decided to keep this just like empty. I bought a little tree though to go over here. I might put like some gold ornaments on there. Cause I mean, truth be told, we might put the gifts over here this year cause it's more room. So we might just surround the gifts around that small little tree, which don't laugh y'all. Right now I have two pies bacon. I sent Clarence on a dummy mission as he said. Yes you did. No, I did it because it was there. He saw I sent him on a dummy mission and I didn't. Bro, Pete, to find he heard me ask. Four I said the baking out. I said the baking no, out. But I'm showing and I got them the more. picture and they're sending me to the uh, to the. Yeah, now. they sent you on a dummy mission, not me. Yeah, look at that. We don't use regular crust around here. We use graham cracker crust, y'all. Legend, what's good? Tastes amazing. This is how it's looking, y'all. I got one more in the oven, and yeah. 
<laughs> y'all it's literally 2 in the morning right now it's actually 2 12 right now and i am debating whether i should go ahead and start making this dressing i already started on the greens i was thinking like you know ooh, my baby it fogged up hold on my bad, my breath is hot too, so that really didn't help. I'm debating whether I should make yams and mac tomorrow and dressing and greens. Well, I'm already making the greens, but the dressing and greens tonight and tomorrow I'll be making the yams and mac. Cause y'all, don't nobody wanna be in no kitchen all day, cooking all day long. CJ's back home. Oh, please don't judge me because it is two in the morning, he's still up. Honestly, this is bad. You on your phone at two in the morning? But you are on break, so I don't know what y'all think. Cut us some slack or sit on the bed. What y'all think? Y'all please don't judge my parenting right now. Don't judge me right now. This is not a regular day. I'm delirious. I'm tired. Mommy. What? You don't like my dinner face? Tomorrow, Yandy is having a potluck at her restaurant. And I want to leave the house for Thanksgiving and like go out and see other people because really, like, it's just literally the four of us. And I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of boring. You know how like all the families are all together for like Thanksgiving and stuff like that? Like, it's just the four of us. I'm sleepy too. So I wanna go out tonight and then, not tonight, dog, I'm de delirious. I wanna go out tomorrow. That's why I wanna cook everything and have everything ready. CJ, can you um turn the TV down a little bit? All right, y'all, so it's Thanksgiving day. what you say, baby? CJ said we're gonna put the Christmas tree up, which we are. Yams about to boil. Let me just say sweet potatoes, because people keep saying stop saying yams. I don't know why. I got my yams cut up. I'm about to boil those. And I have my stock for my dressing. Macaroni noodles boiling right now. Cornbread ready for the dressing to go in the oven. I was playing old school music too, y'all, because old school music just give like family vibes, you know? It just make the house feel so alive. I just love old school music. Ain't nothing like old school music, especially on holiday. Clarence is whipping a dressing. Dressing. Right now. Gotta get all of that stuff at the bottom. Little update. I decided to not use the Velveeta cheese this year. I wanted to see if I can make a cheese base without Velveeta from scratch that tastes good. And I taste it and it tastes good. So I used butter, a little flour, heavy whipping cream, condensed milk, all these cheeses I grated up. And that is like sharp cheddar, Monterey Jack, Colby Jack, and like some white cheese. I'ma also be putting smoked Gouda in my cheese this year. And then I use some seasons, of course, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, adobe. Did I use adobo? No, I didn't, I used paprika. So this is my cheese sauce right here and it looks like it's gonna taste really good. And then I'ma use all this other cheese to mix in the noodles at the same time and layer it. I got a dilemma. So I accidentally boiled my sweet potatoes too soft. What we're gonna do is turn this into a sweet potato casserole. So this is what it's given pre-oven. And I'm gonna show y'all what it gives afterwards. I actually layered it. So I think it's gonna taste good. As long as the flavor of the potatoes tastes good, it's gonna be good. Parents is back there jumping on the trampoline with the kids. I wish we had a leaf blower because that don't make no sense. I'm windy. <laughs> We could let this booty crack. CJ's back in the floor. Food is almost done. Only thing I have to do is boil it at the top. So I need, that looks so good. But I need my mac and cheese and everything at the top to be brown and looking burnt and crispy. That's what I need. So I won't have that. But I just did my chicken setup. All my chicken is gone. I have my egg wash, my seasoned flour. And now I'm about to take and put all my chicken into my deep fryer over here. And then set some gravy up and then we'll be done with our meal. All right, y'all, so the food is done. I had a very hard time with the yams. I had to remake them all over again. As y'all know, I tried to make one marshmallow and it burnt yeah, twice. Good though, she over-exaggerated. The yams were not good. Oh, Clarence. They good, they good. Show, they good. Oh, uh, y'all, let me show y'all the you mess up. Show, show I'm gonna show you guys the mess up. This looks, ooh. First of all, look at all that burnt stuff in there. It's like a casserole. It looked like a casserole, but a nasty casserole. So that's why I had to go and redeem the look of it with these yams with no marshmallows. I just like the texture of these more. What's up, CJ? I can reach, I can reach you guys in soccer. 
TJ can beat you on soccer, he said. Let's talk about the greens. Clarence don't like the greens. He said that the meat is overpowering the greens, and as y'all know, he's real funny about meats and stuff. He said he wanted the greens to taste a little bitter. Me, personally, I try to get as far away from bitter as possible, because I hate bitter greens, but he likes them a little bitter. So next time, I'm gonna try to make him some with more greens and less meat. The smoke pork neck is basically taking over. The dressing is really good. The mac turned out good, even though I didn't use Velveeta. Of course, we got the ham here with some fat on it. And yeah, some fried chicken smothered with some gravy and hot sauce. So yeah, this is my plate. And tell me, do you guys think it looks good? Three days later. I'm gonna be honest. We're still eating. We still eating Thanksgiving food. And how long has it been? Thanksgiving was Thursday. I think you could it's do going one on more Sunday. Day. It's I going think you on... could do one more day. No, like we're definitely humans. forcing it. I mean, at least half the mac and cheese is gone. So we did good. I just know next Boss. year, I can't I can't be cooking this big. And I have to work on my greens because y'all, Clarence didn't like my greens. So as a woman, everybody yeah, that. As a woman, I definitely feel, I felt like bad in the inside. But I know why he didn't like it. It's because he don't like them super southern and meaty so I'm not a meat eater even our mom agreed with me like me and our mom from the same place he agreed that like it's supposed to taste like like me oh, you know what oh. i think i did wrong though y'all i'm gonna be honest i think i put like three pork necks in there and not not I, as much I greens think, i think that's what it is i think the the smoke I think if you would have put pork, more greens the flavor would have been, been less yeah it would have been i think that's more. what it is i i think next time what i'm gonna do is I'm not gonna boil it in chicken broth this time. I'm just gonna use water and the meat. And then I'm gonna put like a lot, a lot more green. So I'm gonna try again. Hopefully I can redeem myself because that really made me feel terrible. Everything else was good though. I'm full though. I'm full too. The dressing, he said was a lot of chicken in there. I did put like double the chicken than last year. So. She put two chickens. We did one chicken last year. So we did two chicken. He don't like all that meat two in there. Two chickens? I think he's low key a vegan. Yeah, I think he's gonna like be a chicken, vegan. Though. Like chicken tenders, popcorn chicken. Oh, chicken wings. Like I don't think I would ever be able to give up a wing. Imagine life without wings. Nah, baby, I think you could do it. You don't like meat. You don't like. I'm chicken. gonna have to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be one of them people eating fake wings. You know how to yeah. be vegan wings. That's gonna suck. It is gonna suck, but you gonna, it's gonna happen. This is to my future self, my future vegan self, man. <laughs> you suck. You ain't, you ain't really living. <laughs> wings and burgers is mine. Wings and burgers. I think mine's is, I can't give up sweets. You can't I'm give sorry. up sweets. I cannot give up sweets. Like I need. Cookies, crackers. I love. Granola bars, chewy Hold bars. Hold on, let me show you something. Ice cream. Like you can't get that, she can't get that stuff up. What is that? Do anybody else in the comments, do y'all know that these bus? These Christmas cakes? I wouldn't even eat those. Man, I'm glad you would. <laughs> I, I haven't. And I'm glad. There's one, there's two left in there. Yeah, what about it? That's all you? Yeah. I need a severe detox after this. All the gook and gluttony in my body, man. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Christmas tree cakes. Speaking of Christmas tree. They sell anything and you gonna buy it. Oh, no, 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 no. Y'all can vouch for me. Ain't them Christmas tree cakes good? Bro, it's the same concept as like a zebra cake. It's the same concept. Nah, but these right here, these buzz. It just make you feel in the Christmas spirit. I want to put up the tree now. You I look feel like we tired. should. I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. Yeah, our next, our next. I need to go finish this thing. Our next vlog is gonna be us putting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> we gonna see if we gonna stay up late and actually do this video. Like, well, we could have been done it, right? Don't y'all miss us? Queen's getting old. Clarence. It's gonna be our last year of being 20s. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be his last year of 20s, y'all. Nah, I told his you, next year, don't, next year don't put a 30 on my cake. Man, I'm putting a big 30. It's gonna be a I'm dirty 30, too. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> that ass. I'm don't throw it. Now. it. I'm saying it now. And it's not gonna be disrespectful because I'm telling you now. No, it's still gonna be disrespectful. On you throw camera, cake I'm throwing the cake if it says 30. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you can't run from your. I'm not running, run I'm just saying age. we don't gotta celebrate it. Yes, we can. A dirty I'm not gonna lie. 30 is like a great age. Like 30 is like It's wow. a blessing. But like I know like a lot of like people didn't make it to yeah, 30. Yeah, like a lot of people that I grew up with didn't make it to 30. They didn't even make it to 25. So like it's a blessing in that way, but like I'm not a person that pay attention to age or focus on age. Like you're gonna be 30. So like for 30. I feel like that might be the first number I actually pay attention to, so that's a little scary. Y'all, it's crazy that like literally we never get yesterday back.
You gotta go to sleep. No, babe. <laughs> you gotta go. I'm really thinking like we'll never get yesterday. <laughs> Nigga, you're not gonna get. You can't get. A I can't get a go minute. Back. That's what I'm saying, but I'm thinking about age. Like, once you turn 30, you're never going back to your 20s. Like, wow, you only get older. Like, we're only turning 40 soon. <laughs> I cannot believe this. And, like, before you know it, we're going to be old and wrinkly, babe. Like, we're going to be old and wrinkly one day. Old and wrinkly? We're going to be old and wrinkly one day. Like, our nah. ears going to grow. <laughs> you know how old people's ears grow and then hair start coming out of them? <laughs> old people ears grow? Yes. Like when you get old, like a lot of things, your head gets smaller, your ears get bigger. <laughs> no, I think you just your head gets smaller. No, but your, ears, your ears get ears bigger, your bigger nose get bigger. Like, wow, we're going to really look <laughs> old one day. Nah, I'm never getting old. You never get, you don't have to get old. Old is an option. It's an option. You could be young forever. <laughs> And the inside, but the outside, you're gonna look like you need to sit down somewhere. You gotta stop this. No, this, all this pork and ham hock. <laughs> all this That's pork, ham hock, and dairy and cheese. That's what we need to look We need to figure it. We, look, we saying this now, but next year we're gonna be right back. <laughs> we're gonna be right back eating like. It's once a year. Yeah. That's the problem though. Niggas eat like this all year round. That's what people problem. Yeah, that, this all year round is beast. What? All some year round? This is all year round. This is every every Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. We making some greens, some ham hocks. Some... <laughs> nah, G. that's where you come from. Like I, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure. They I come from Michigan. struggle. I come from a lot of struggle meals. I'm pretty sure they do that. Michigan. And struggle meals is real southern. It's real southern in Detroit, yeah. If y'all have noticed. Why do I like to do that? Why do I like to put my arm around you? Do you like when I do that? No. It's not something I really. <laughs> <laughs> Really noticed and really like battled with myself, do if I like it or not. Like, you know, it just, just kind of happens. <laughs> but if you were, but I'm, I'm not gonna go finish this. You're Damn, I'm sleepy. Yeah. All right, y'all, in the next vlog, we will be putting up the Christmas tree. So, see you guys later. Love you guys and got a blast.